Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Uh, thank you again for joining me. Today, I want to talk about a uh, little bit about prayer. Help you out. I did a video before about prayer, but I wanted to do another one because I know how essential and important it is to our daily lives and how enriching it is. So with that, I'm going to start with uh, the book of John, uh, chapter 14. I'm going to read uh, verses 13 and 14. And it's about, in whose name do we pray? It says right here. <clears throat> and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, talk about Yeshua, that I, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. So he said, I will do it. Okay, now. If we go to uh, how to pray, we'll go to how to pray. We'll go to Luke. Jump back to Luke here. And it'd be uh, Luke chapter uh, 18. One page. And I'm going to go to verse one right here. Uh, and he spoke a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not faint. Should always pray and not faint. Just remember that. I'm going to go to Matthew. I'm going to jump back to Matthew now for another, you know, another example. Matthew 7 here. And uh, verse uh, 7 and 8. Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asks, receives, and he that see, see, uh, seeks, finds. And to him that knocks, it shall be opened. It shall be opened. And if you want some more uh, biblical uh, uh, verse, uh, verses and everything, if you look at Ephesians uh, chapter 6, 18, Matthew 26, 41, and first uh, Peter four to four verses seven uh, that show you more scriptures about how to pray. Now uh, conditions conditions uh, for answered prayer. There's some conditions to it. You know, you just don't pray. There's conditions to it. And I'm gonna go to uh, Second Chronicles. Find Second Chronicles here real quick. Uh, oops, just passed it up here. Second Chronicles, and uh, uh, seven, uh, chapter seven, verses uh, fourteen, first fourteen. One more over here, seven to fourteen, and it says right down here: If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal heal their land. That was uh, one of them about the condition. And uh, I'll go to Proverbs for the next next one. Proverbs right here and uh, Proverbs uh, twenty eight nine. Oops, next one back. Twenty eight nine. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So if you turn your ear away from, from the law, your prayer will be an uh, abomination. And uh, if you want some more verses on the conditions, uh, please go to uh, check out Psalms uh, 66, verse 18, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, 1 John uh, chapter 5, uh, verses 14, 15, 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, uh, 16 through 18, and Philippians, uh, chapter 4, verse 6. Now here, what for what do we pray? What, what do we pray when we decide, you know, want to pray? Uh, go to, we'll go to the book of uh, James here. I'm clear down here. James right here. Book of James. And uh, 
chapter 1, we'll start with uh, verse 5 here. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Elohim that giveth to all men liberally and uh, braideth not, and it shall be given him. And uh, now we'll go to 14 to 15. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust as, as is conceived, it brings forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth uh, forth death. Uh, 16 here, do not err thy beloved brethren. So that's, uh, that's why we got to praise, because, you know, we get enticed, we fall, f fall away, we get enticed and everything, and we got to be on the guard for that. Uh, and we'll go to uh, Matthew chapter 5. For another, for another verse, Matthew chapter 5, oops, it's a little too far, Matthew chapter 5, 44, and uh, yeah, verse 44 here, and it says, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them, and curse, and them that curse you, do good unto them that hate you, and pray for them which des despitefully use you and persecute you. So our enemies, even though they're our enemies, we need to pray for them. You know, what better what better sportsmanship is that? Somebody hates you and they want to see you tortured, misery, death, and everything else. But as we, us, we're better than that. We want to pray for their well-being in every way. We want to see them spiritually, you know, better and the health continues. You know, it's kind of hard, but we do that, and you put a smile on Yahweh's face. He say, he see who the better person is. Oh, excuse me. And uh, if you want a couple more verses, you go to Matthew uh, uh, six, uh, verse thirteen, and First John uh, one, verse nine. And here it says Yahweh is able to answer prayers. And uh, I'm gonna go to uh, Hebrews. I'm jump clear back to the book of Hebrews. Let's see. There it is. Hebrews and uh, 7, 7 verse 25. 7 and uh, 25 says right here, Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto Elohim by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. So intercession, he's interceding and he's on our side. You know, we're like petitioning a prayer to Yahweh, but uh, Yeshua is interceding for us. He's helping us out. And we pray, and like I said, we pray in his name. And that's, that's how the prayers, you know, the prayers get answered. Now I'm going to go to Ephesians. I'm going to jump to the book, uh, book of Ephesians. Ephesians, yeah, I got Ephesians right here. And it's, uh, it's chapter 3, verse 20. Chapter 3, verse 20. And it states right here, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. So basically it's <clears throat> just like the, everything else. It's talking about how prayers are being, uh, you know, answered prayers. That's what it is. And if you want more on that, uh, go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, and Jeremiah 29, 12. See what they say. Get your Bible out and Look these verses up, you know, I, I encourage you to. And uh, and Yeshua, he did pray pray for you and me. And you can find that in John. John, uh, and we'll go to the book of John here. Go to the book of John 17. Ooh, 17, let's go back one page here, 17, 1, 
Uh, we'll go to verse 1 through 3 here. These words spoke Yeshua and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour come is come, glorify thy Son, that thy Son also be, may glorify thee. And thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should make eternal life to an, uh, as many as uh, thou hast given him. And this is the life eternal, thus they might know thee, the only true Elohim, and Yeshua Messiah, whom thou hast sent. So, and, uh, you know, Yeshua prayed, you know, there's there's other verses in here in the Gospels where, you know, he prayed for his disciples, he prayed for, you know, thy will be done, things, you know, different things. But it was never selfish prayer, you know, and that's what we shouldn't do selfish prayer prayer we shouldn't want to say we want to pray to hit the lottery we pray uh and the next door neighbor falls and breaks his leg you know nothing like that but um but according if you want to look the last prayer the last prayer in the bible if you want to look that up there's a last prayer in the bible and you can look up revelations 22 20 look that up but that is the last prayer that's just a fun fact I, I wanted to give you a little fun fact of the last prayer and uh and please, like I said, uh, look back on my other video about prayer too, uh, how to pray, uh, be enlightening to you and beneficial. And that's all I want to say about that. I thank you again for joining me and uh, please give me a, a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell and also subscribe. I'll appreciate that. Until we meet again, friends, peace out and uh, shalom.